difference. I hate you, Kenix, so much. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just imagining Rainbow Dash's parents yeah, waving their dumb. tails and that's how they fly! I ship it. I was thinking of the way people always make fun of uh, non-binary genders is, oh, I, de I identify as an attack helicopter. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I hate you, Faza. I hope you blow up. Hey, I don't... I'm just saying it's what it reminded me of. I haven't threatened anyone this see I haven't threatened anyone this episode. I've been actually placed in this episode. Fuck you all. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, so final thoughts? Uh, I think Lightning had an emergency. I didn't have an emergency. I got kicked. Don't fucking sugarcoat my <laughs> life. <laughs> Bitch. It just wouldn't be the show if you weren't. Ooga go fuck yourself. They were already kicked earlier. Oh yeah, because I said Sombra sucks, and it's true. So, final thoughts. Uh, now comes the part of the episode where I don't kick Lightning because I'm going to be a nice person. Bitch. And instead... I pointed a random pony, and they give their final thoughts on the episode. Phaser shift, since your voice just lit up, you go ahead first. Okay. Uh, if I can remember very much, I thought it was an alright episode. It had a nice sort of backstory we got to meet. It's always nice meeting the parents of uh, the ponies whose parents we have not met. Um, is there anybody left whose parents we haven't met? Nope. Uh, Fletishize. And oh, then we met hers. We've met, we met her hers. parents Wait. with uh, they're super Flutter fucking Brother. shy. Yeah, uh, we met know. we met hers during Flutter Brother. Yeah, now Flutter is this Brother. the now wait is this an episode during season seven? I mean, no, no I think it was season six. Uh, I don't remember. Seasons. It was yeah. Uh, it was seven. It was with Zephyr Breeze. Season. Apparently, Laquack has informed me we watched that episode. I don't remember watching that episode. <laughs> yeah. You, you anyway, watch that episode. It's the it's, one it's... where her. It's the one where her brother spends about sixty percent of it trying to get laid, but with, uh, with Rainbow Dash. He's yeah. obnoxious as shit. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. He wants to I taste was... the rainbow. So do her parents. <laughs> I had to do it once. Go ahead, Phaser. Sorry. Uh. I thought it was a decent episode. Oh. Super annoying at times. But... And experiments. We haven't seen... Oh, wait. Yeah, we, did yeah, we have. Episode. Well, we haven't covered that episode yet. Oh, wait. No, anyway. it wasn't last week's episode. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was a decent episode. I, I don't remember anything else. So, yeah. There you go. Well, all right. Ember, your opinion, go right. This episode had so much potential to be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it had Scootaloo being cute, fucking it had Rainbow Dash being awesome, you know. But I was just so annoyed with Rainbow's up. parents. Like, it just oh. brought the score, like, way the fuck down. So I'm going to go ahead and rank this episode 3 out of 5. And stick it right in between Forever Philly and Celestial Advice. Oh shit! Three Ooh. out of five mustached embers. <laughs> well, all right then. Oh, Katnik, your opinion? You know what they say about Rainbow Dash being awesome? Take caution. Okay. I. Oh, I'm trying to figure out your opinion of the episode, and <laughs> it's not quite get getting it. there. <laughs> I approve of that ambiguous review. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm still missing something. Yeah, lightning <laughs> bear on your hopefully less confusing review. It sucked. See, no, see, cat. That's how you do a review. <laughs> like fuck, I rather watch Holocaust videos than this. And then <laughs> lightning takes it a step too far because lightning. Actually, I agree with lightning. <laughs> oh shit! Did see. Did, did you at least get get it? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, did see your opinion. So, um, I'm gonna give you a lengthy one. Okay. When originally, when originally watching this episode, <laughs> all I could sit there and think of while like seeing how her parents were with her is some of the opening scenes of the movie Get Out and how cringeworthy it is when the white parents are talking to the black kid and being like, oh, we, we voted for Obama twice. 
Like, I was seriously that pained watching this episode. Wow. I haven't seen and that movie. It, it's, it's fantastic. Really good. You should seriously watch it. It was a very huge disappointment that the Golden Globes decided to label it as a comedy. It is not a comedy! I don't... I didn't... I they heard it was a comedy. Yeah, what? It was dark comedy. Anyway, oh. that's the subject for another day. Continue. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, in general, as much as it made me cringe, there were cute parts of the episode. Scootaloo was absolutely freaking adorable, but I think like a, I just, like a Scooter do. I just I think I felt really bad for Rainbow Dash because mm -hmm. there have been a lot of artists, musicians, that kind of thing that I've wanted to be in my lifetime that have refused to do meet and greets with their fans because of behavior like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kathleen Bark. <clears throat> Precisely. Just you know, like uh, like prime example, right? Yeah, Kathleen Barr. Although I fully admit I'd be the exact kind of fan she avoids. Oh. I mean, she only voiced the single most important pony in my life, so... Alright, they're tense, you're up. Alrighty. So, my opinion on... And no one cares, let's move on. Oh, man, that was perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> what, what's that, Lightning? You don't want to be part of the show anymore? Bring it on, bitch! You can't have a show without me. God damn Actually, it, she's got me show. there. <laughs> Alright, so my opinion on the episode was, I, I'm kind of... <laughs> I didn't do that! I didn't do that either. What the fuck? I didn't do that. I... Who did it? Someone did it! What? <laughs> did she do it to herself? Oh, Who knows? God. Did she leave oh. herself? Oh dear. All of them. So, my opinion. I had this pill bottle ready to go because of you. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that, that, that was, was a bit too dark. Yeah. Actually, I gotta take my meds. <laughs> Be right uh, back. Uh, oh. you, you realize you're comparing that statement to the Holocaust statement earlier, right? The Holocaust <laughs> yeah, yeah. is a reasonable thing to joke about. <laughs> um. What? I'm glad it happened I'm, 70 I'm glad... years ago, <laughs> chill. So. so the suicide thing is a no-go, but the Holocaust is a-okay. You heard it here first, first folks. The Holocaust is a-okay. Well, Let's I just don't get think Anne the Frank on the line. very many people. What the hell have I done? <laughs> I just wanted to do a nice little show about talking about ponies and nerdy things. Ponies are a symbol of the Holocaust! Yeah, they are! That the Everybody. all over DeviantArt. Everybody um, knows that the Holocaust was a lie. Can we also totally type? Oh. <laughs> okay, Speaking we, of the Holocaust, we lost Phaser. Can we talk about the Nazis? How they're coming back in Germany? We lost Phaser. I think we pushed it too far, guys. I mean, the Nazis are coming back in uh, U.S. as well, but that's besides the point. No, but like the Nazis are actually coming back it's in Germany. Apparent, I guess it's winter for a Phaser. Guys, stop. Alright. Did we actually lose Faza? Aw. Yeah, he left. Like, I can't see him anywhere. Hello? Hi! Hi. 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 What you happened, Okay, Faza? in all seriousness, let's stop. Uh, my opinion on the episode was... I liked it. But I kind of got to agree uh, on everyone about the parents being way too overbearing. Uh, the main part with them cheering her on after yelling at them just kind of was like, okay, take it back a notch. That was, yeah. was kind of unnerving. That that was cringeworthy and it didn't need to happen. But other than that, I did like everything else, like Scootaloo being super cute. Mm. Um, the little the little nods to characters we haven't seen in the past or in like the last few seasons. Yeah. Uh, the origins of Derpy. Yeah. <laughs> I still want to see more about how that happened, but like it was just gradual over time. I mean, some people just get I mean, it, it told us she wasn't born like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a thing. 
Um, but anyway, all right. So that's all of everybody's opinions. Uh, that brings us to the second part of our show, where we don't talk about ponies. Yeah, I forgot there was more to this. Or yeah, insulting subjects. Right. So. Th- okay, whatever. So, our next segment. God damn it. Let me You'll remember, get there eventually. Let me remember how to English. Yeah, okay. Our Ditsy, next help segment. Him. Our ne- All right, fine. Ditsy, your best announcer voice. Go. Our next segment, which we are going to go into promptly, is News with Ember. Hey, guys. Like guess it. what Nintendo announced this week? Cardboard! Cardboard! <laughs> Fucking, what is this? Nintendo uh, Cardboard NES asshole. system! You didn't bring me back. What? You left? Who? What? You left? I kicked. Who kicked, Who kicked you? Who kicked you? You? No. 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 That one? In fact, he was confused. That yeah. one fucking moved me. Cat. Wait, how long have you been gone? What? I didn't do anything. All like yeah, was five cat. minutes. I didn't what the fuck? Home. You've been not here this whole time? Yeah. And Man. I'm just like, someone moved me. Okie dokie then. No, we don't. So, anyway, cardboard. Yeah, so cardboard. Nintendo... Yeah. Yeah, I got bored. $70 cardboard. The ah. Nintendo Cardboard Entertainment System. Yeah, so we got so... this. Uh, it's called Nintendo Labo. You got a choice here between uh, the variety kit and the robot kit. Does it actually do anything, or do you literally just build stuff? No. So like, no, it, so like, how it works is like the the controllers have this VR camera, right? And yeah. it's like really fucking sensitive. Like something people think it can even possibly take color pictures. Like that's how fucking good this VR or this uh, you know, this camera thing on the the sensor is on the Wii move. So they got it rigged up where you like build cardboard around like specific mechanisms that this uh, the sensor can watch, and then it like does different things. Like there's this uh, piano that you can get where if you press the keys, it pulls certain levers in the back that the uh, remote sees, or like it'll use its its gyroscope and some things to like you know. Yeah. Seventy dollars for expensive cardboard, though. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure after its release, there's going to be templates you can find and line to just download your own and print it off on cardboard and Actually, make it isn't, without. Isn't isn't it like very special cardboard or? It's I mean it's not really so like the cardboard probably costs like ten dollars for the uh, you know the basic set and twenty dollars for the robot set right, but the game itself is probably sixty dollars itself. Oh, it, it comes with a game. Yeah, like it has software oh, to make it work. You know, okay. right. So think about that. Yeah, so the cardboard they're gonna sell like replacement cardboard for like cheap, like ten or twenty dollars based on what whatever piece you have. Right. Okay. But then also you can use your own cardboard with templates and build it yourself. Mm-hmm. So you could just buy the sixty dollar game and get the cardboard and like get your own cardboard if you wanted to, you know? Alright. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, so still a little pricey. But here, check this out. So yeah. there's a, I can't find where it shows it on the site. But like it, it comes I with. Mean... If you watch, if you watch the announcement trailer, it shows off things like, uh, it's got like the steering wheel and pedal, uh, for like racing games. If you want, it's got like the, uh, you know, the flight stick. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's Obama opening up. One two switch for sixty bucks. They can buy this. Yeah. So so like this this kind of thing, you know cardboard technology is opening up so many different kinds of possibilities for like you know, other kinds of games that some people might not have even have thought of yet until Nintendo was like, yeah, hey, by the way, our system can do this too. Like, Google did it first. <laughs> it's a really interesting, um, like, substitute for buying a peripheral flight stick and the way that it uses it is really neat and innovative. Right. Um, by sliding your existing controllers into this, this holder, basically. I mean, it's kind of like the... I almost want to say like the Nintendo light gun sort of thing, or I mean, I guess the way that the Wii modes were used with like the sports stuff, mm. um, but a bit more in depth than that. Are you, are you it's it's, it's, it's the wild uh, crossbow neat. training. Yeah. There's your, <laughs> there's your uh, robot thing. 
Do, 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 yeah. Do. So, so yeah. The and the interesting thing is that only Nintendo could have pulled this off. You know, like if, uh... if Xbox, if Xbox or PlayStation tried to do something like this, how well do you think it would have gone over? Uh... About Oddly... as well as when they tried to rip off other Nintendo's other ideas. Yeah. Oddly it... relevant to the conversation, but this just appeared on my newsfeed. I tell you right now, as a heads up, the PlayStation is working on. <laughs> Crap, <laughs> uh, as a heads up, what the the the, the, the PSN is working on um is working on making a thing like the Switch. It's not the Vita. Incidentally, right. uh, this week also uh, Xbox announced that they are officially cutting cards and uh killing the connect good <laughs> the connect is officially dead had so much potential no it did mm, yeah it did it, had it no did potential. but the technology wasn't there really so anyway I mean, uh, we we did we did in, get the um rest in peace star wars cantina dance the greatest thing to come out of the connect ever are you talking are you, about are the, you on um, solo the... <laughs> I'm on solo. solo. <laughs> so so anyway so anyway that's Nintendo Labo. Uh, okay. We've got about twelve minutes left, so we should move on. I think uh, Lightning's got something. Gaming with Lightning. Hey. Please tell uh, me. For my game, for my game of this week, we are talking about Dot Hack Gu, which is a fantastic fucking yes! game. Yes. Thank you. Katnik loves it. Uh, it is it is basically <laughs> really, sword art, but full of sword art. I don't uh, know you... anything about Dot Hack, but I've heard of it. It was like, sword a long time ago, and cool. so like that's that is to me kind of saying how. Uh, but like before I was into anime, I've heard of Dot Hack. So yeah, Dot Hack was the original hack, uh, stuck in a game. Uh, it was an is is the original. Oh hey, you got uh we're stuck in this game. We can't get out. And if you die in the game, you die in real life. So the situation. Not really. Do you ever it look? At it was in the first one. The first one was you got stuck in GU. It's different. It's more like Gun Girl Online. No, no, it's nothing. You don't. You're not stuck in there at all. The the issue was that people were dying in the game and going into comas. Yeah, in the second one, the first one. No, the first one. They're doing that as well. Dude. Heck, that was like. Your call to action in the first uh the first game series is your friend got died and got into a coma. That was that was in this one. Hey, I no. recognize that thing. G U no. Yeah, G U is about being about your about finding Shino who got stuck yeah, in a coma because of the PK. They, they, that's the call to action for both. In the first one you got stuck. No Motherfucker, I'm gonna oh, Yeah, go ahead and look sign, it up. I'm right. Hold on. In dot hex <laughs> sign, the original manga. Yes, everyone got stuck and had to fight their way out, and if they died, they went into a coma. Yeah, we're talking about the video game for the most part. But well, yes, fuck the video games. They were based <laughs> on the anime, I hope. Anime, Otherwise, they have yeah, some explaining anime. to do. Actually, I don't know which came first. <laughs> Chicken or the egg? Manga uh, or the anime? The dot hack or came the, first. the holder's boulder? Oh, it's set up. Hold on. I get it. I mean, science oh, technically fuck, takes place. You are right. Ha! Ha! I am a video game nerd. Fear I'm, me. Not for the record, he's a video game nerd, but doesn't know who Jean Grey is. Why would I know that? They're not. Jean Grey's a comic games. character. Sure, she's been in video games, but unrelated. He brags about being a nerd. Unrelated, but do you ever go through the pictures section of your computer and wonder where the fuck something came from? Yes. yes. And like it the random won. pictures of girls' butts I have. This is apparently I mean, a thing in my pictures. Uh... <laughs> okay. Marky Mark and the Friendship <laughs> Bunch. Uh... I, I have nothing. So is that it, Lightning? Yes, that's it. Uh, it is a good game so far. If you get Dot .hack GU recoded, it's, the, it's three games and then an extra game with it. The game is split up into four games, which is also how I believe they're going to do the Final Fantasy VII, where at a certain point in the episode, you only can level up so far. Kinky. But, um... 
I mean, that's how the original game came out. It came out on three separate games. <laughs> yeah, and it was great. And so far, we code is really good. My only, it, it, it feels like an MMO. So if you're, it, you might have to grind a lot to hmm. get anywhere, but it's still moderate really good. grinding. There's moderate, moderate grinding. Yeah, but it's, it's like MMO grinding. So, but it's good if you guys have this spare, what is it, 40 bucks? It's a really good story. It's a. <laughs> All I hear is a cat meowing, and it has me mildly concerned. I think that was my chair squeaking. Oh. Um, but yeah, in the trailer that's been playing on the stream, uh, I saw there's like the giant icicle thing with the dude frozen inside of crystal or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I said I recognize that because there's a room in VR chat that's that cavern. And I didn't nice. know what it was from before that. I'm like, oh, that's what that is. And you can see the dude inside. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, are we, are we Anyways, done? That, that, is, that is all. Okay. Uh, someone is posting stuff. In that. that would be me. I was posting that made me giggle. Things. Yeah, let's wait until the show's over before we start doing that. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I hate you, Trichy, so much. That I did not post. Speaking of random photos. Is that on your computer? Yes. So... Do you look at that every morning to remind yourself? No. <laughs> so. Uh, so now we move on to the final discussion. Uh, apparently big changes are coming to one of my favorite. Uh oh, my mic fell over. <laughs> be prepared for the next 20 minutes of your life to be boring. Oh, hush. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, one of my favorite games is getting something of a graphical overhaul. Watch. Oh, oh, Shadow of the Colossus? Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, I thought it was a good game. Uh, <laughs> oh. They've been, they've been kind of releasing little things here and there over the last week. And they just made the announcement uh, here in the last, like it was yesterday, that not only is it a cosmetic update, but apparently the characters will now have expressions during battles. So that's going to be fucking cool. Um, I've actually gotten, like, I've been playing a frick, metric frick ton of Overwatch the last couple weeks. Uh, I recently got into seasonal stuff, which is the uh, the competitive. What, uh, what do you call it? Competitive mode. Lightning, you're the only other Overwatch person yeah, here. Yeah, competitive. Here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, seasonal. I haven't done my seasonals yet. If you guys play on PlayStation Four, you could find me on there as Fenris Seven Thirty. Usually annoying the hell out of kids with my Junkrat voice. You you don't play it on PC. Uh, because my PC can't handle it, you chuckle nugget. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks thanks for opening that wound. Yeah, see I wouldn't get it on anything other than PC either, so Yeah, I mean it's a first person shooter. Yeah, like you gotta. I ha I have it on both PS4 and PC. Also, I haven't cared about that game since they decided that they wanted to become the Trump of first-person shooters. We're gonna have a, a like major leagues, major league gamer league, oh, and they're guys... gonna and the people are gonna pay for it. Um, with that's skins. not what's going on. But okay, continue. Then why the hell are they selling a shit ton of crappy skins for like? Because we're not amounts. we're not paying for it. We're just get we're just. It's it's one of those you don't have to pay for it kind of things. You know what happened to that uh, one team? Like the, the team only got banned for homophobic slurs at an enemy team. Uh, which team? Uh, fuck, like something from Detroit or something. Oh yeah, no, they're gone. The Detroit guys are gone. But yeah. then again, it's Detroit, so I don't think anyone's surprised. <sighs> Darn it, they ran their I team stayed. like they ran Detroit, right into the ground. What'd you say, Phaser? Damn it, people from my state. But hold on, for the record, Holocaust jokes are against the rule, but we can stereotype people from Detroit. Yeah. Uh, like Detroit. They're Detroit's fair a game. country. 
<laughs> the whole country. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's a shit that Trump was talking about. <sighs> <laughs> and on that note. Oh, so anyway, you'll usually see me Good on there. everybody. You'll usually see me on there uh, trolling people as Sombra. Or taking on people doing me junk rat impression. Well, that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we got for today. We'll see you next time here on Nerds Talking. Once again, I almost called it Twitchy After Dark. God damn it. He's going to have a bigger knife. It's because Ditsy's here, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia. I'm kidding. Sure. No, I'm kidding. I, I think the woman. No, uh, it's... Yeah, we can make oh. jokes like that now too. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I wasn't making a joke. <laughs> she well, is the woman. I am. More... I am one of. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I want to say three, but I'm sure someone's gonna say no. I'm gender neutral. Well, I was... I was gonna say, am there, I see, gender neutral? I am a woman. And, okay, I was making sure that lightning was still identifying female. Three guys, two females, and one gender neutral. That just makes me feel like odd one out, thanks. See y'all next time! <laughs> see y'all next time! And be sure to stay tuned after this, sh or stay tuned in 30 minutes for Nerds Talking Minecraft. Yay. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>